Three, two, one. Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and magicbrad.com, and I'm here with my friend Lee. Are you there, Leah? Can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear, Brad. Wonderful. So I'm over here now. I'm, this is what's cool about the Internet, is you can be remote, and I'm in Eden Prairie right now, and normally I live in Minnetonka, but uh, mm -hmm. if you have Wi-Fi, you can do this stuff. And where are you located? I'm coming to you today from Robbinsdale, Minnesota. Robbinsdale, I told you that's where my wife is from, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, it's it a Robin great place Dale. to be. Is it the Orioles? Oh, gosh. Like a baseball team? No, We're Robin famous Dale. for wrestling and restaurants. Oh, That's our claim to fame. And we also have a really big hospital here in town. That, that could be a theme restaurant. I, well, it's become a big mural on one of our, um, one of our store uh, sides, like facing the parking lot. And it has this huge mural um, just depicting all of the things that Robbinsdale is famous for. Another fun fact that you might not know is that the creator of the game Cooties, if you remember that oh, game sure. with the, the bug. Things you stick the little thing yeah. in. Yeah, that, the creator of that game is a Robbinsdale native. We have a big statue on our town square of a cootie. That's kind of weird. Yeah, well. Robbinsdale Cooties? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have them. We just play the game. We're the Fridley Tigers. And then, <laughs> look, oh, look at it. Oh, hi. Who's that? <laughs> Super cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's a cute little guy. So, Leah, I wanted to talk to you about, I understand that you do some, like, is it life coaching and might blend mm -hmm. in business kind of coaching, but isn't it more about, like, a, a well-rounded life? Well, actually, my focus is the work for joy coach. And so what I do is I coach um, individuals who are either unhappy in their current line of work or their current job into finding a new place to work as an employee where they feel valued and respected and like their gifts are being used in a relevant way um, and that they can look forward to Monday mornings. So that's, that's one person that I work with. And then the other type of individual that I work with is somebody who's looking to launch a business. Okay. They might be, so the same, same kind of motivating principles, right? They've maybe been an employee for a really long time and they know that they could take something out and be independent with it, but they're not sure how, is or they want also, to open a brick and mortar business. Is it also the kind of person that might want to just, they, they like their job, but it's just not the same as it used to be. And they might want to just change their attitude or change yeah. how they view the surroundings and stay at the job, maybe change position or something. Yes. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And I use a tool called stealth management um, for that. And so what that means is managing your insides in a slightly different way to remind yourself that you have a considerable amount of power as an employee um, to affect change in both your immediate and your cultural and your leadership surroundings. And so we look at how to leverage that power, even when you're not the big boss. Got it. And uh, just so you know, I'm an advocate of coaches. Some people think I can do it by myself, but uh, sometimes my wife is a coach. And I, I think it's an interesting uh, approach yeah. in that mm -hmm. oftentimes a person's doing things and they're trying to learn things and they might go and like read a book or watch videos or take a course and all that kind of stuff. But if you don't have that feedback loop that mm -hmm. might take you off in some other total direction, that's important because a coach kind of asks those questions right. and make you go, I never thought about it. <laughs> right, right. We're perspective changers. Um, we're also, we remind you of how amazing you're already doing. A lot of people underestimate um, the work that they're currently doing on whatever their challenge is in the moment. Um, I, you know, certainly to your comment about needing a coach, I am a coach, but I also employ coaches as well mm -hmm. um, for my own growth and sustainability and um, working my way through my own challenges, both at work and in my personal life too. Mm -hmm. So I definitely practice what I preach. <laughs> so I found that I'm, I'm 62 now. So I'm at this place where I'm kind of doing unlearning. I'm trying to you know, get rid of the old mm -hmm. ways that just don't yeah. work. It's, it's kind of like, you know, you want to listen to music, so you grab a, an eight track and you try and stick it inside of a CD player. <laughs> Doesn't <Right>. work. <laughs> Probably yeah, not yeah. too effective. Yeah. Figure out new ways. Yeah, exactly. Um, one, of, one of my taglines on my business website is you've done what you should, now do what you want. That's um, a good one. 
And so a lot of that is relearning that, um, that it's different now than the way it was, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 years ago, what have you. And there's all kinds of different ways to look at what your current challenges are or how you're approaching your professional life. Um, and yeah, you can unlearn some things that, um, you know, may have served a purpose however long ago, but now, um, it's, uh, I always like to use the metaphor of when the life preserver becomes a, uh, like a lead weight in your hand. So what used yeah. to be a skill that, that, you, uh, that you relied upon to be a lifesaver for you, now it's like instead of the lifesaver being around your, your neck and shoulders holding your head up, you're sitting in it and it's causing you to be unstable and wobble around and fall and lose your balance. Um, and so, yeah, co you know, coaching can really help you kind of um, just repurpose some of those aspects of your life that are no longer serving you the way that they used to. That's a good analogy. And then, like, um, you had mentioned something a little bit earlier about the things that you're doing that you don't know that might have an impact and being aware right. of them. I think that's yeah. really evident mm -hmm. in the Internet these days when you do, like, a blog post and for some reason the phone's not ringing for a week. Mm -hmm. That blog post is still out there on the internet doing stuff. You have no idea. Like these videos, when I, when I do these videos, I propagate them up to YouTube and then they're mm -hmm. on YouTube. I embed them on different blogs and different places and they're on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn. And you never know when someone's going to type in a keyword that happens to be there and pop in and then the alignment is going to be there. Yeah. And it's all very synergistic and, um, and a lot of times intuitive. And um, so even though there are some 3D practices out there to bring your message to a larger group of people, it's going to find who it's supposed to find regardless. Yeah, you had said something about that when we talked earlier about the, like, if, like, the, like the, the, the teacher will appear when the student's ready kind of yes. thing. Yes, <laughs> when, yeah. when you create, yeah, when you create. Right. When you create space in your life and you're clear about an intention or a desire, um, a lot of times you can just put that out there and then continue to kind of go about your, your day uh, as long as you remain open to the possibility that whatever that thing is, is, is kind of barreling towards you if you'll just get out of the way. Right. Oftentimes, um, many of my clients are surprised at what happens when they, when they find the clarity of their intention and then they step out of the way. Yeah, you're um, their vibrating results at a tend certain to, frequency, yeah. like a tuning fork will, yeah. will assimilate to the other tone. Right, like a radio dial, like you're tuning in your frequency on a radio dial, exactly. and then that that the right song is gonna is gonna come at you a little quicker than it was would um, before you achieve that level of clarity. And it takes a it takes a coach to be able to see that because, like, say I've got we'll call it issues. <laughs> sure. That's a good word. I'm going a certain direction. And I think that mm -hmm. that's the way to do it because that's the way I've always done it. And then mm -hmm. you come in and go, you know, that's kind of old paradigm. What if you did this? And right. What if you shifted? The, yeah. And a lot of, of times, a lot of times my question to my clients is, um, do you really enjoy like, where's your joy? Sure. Um, what, you know, what feels good for you? And so like, for example, um, one of my recent clients was interviewing for several, you know, high level VP corporate types of roles and wondering why they weren't getting, like they would get an interview, but then they weren't getting offers. And when we got to the bottom of it, that person didn't really didn't want those types of roles. They right. wanted to be doing something completely different, but because their experience and, um, and their expertise was in that particular category of roles, it, um, they felt like, you know, well, that's what I should do. Right. But that's when we what got, my resume says, yeah, that's exactly. what I'm gonna do. And then I find out that I really wanna go sailing around the world. Right. Well, now, now that person is looking into some nonprofit work and some mentoring roles and um, ways to express, you know, what they, what really lights them up, which is helping other people to, um, especially young people, to find their path and their way in the world. Um, so that's really different than the very technical industry that this person came from, um, but they weren't really giving themselves permission to express those desires or explore those desires 
And so now that's the process that we're in is when we, when we give ourselves permission to have that particular professional desire, even if it's something completely different than what we went to school for or what we're experienced in, um, though, that's when the opportunities will find their way to you is when you're aligned with, hey, what do I really want to be doing, regardless of how much I think it will pay or the level of responsibility I think that it will encompass. Um, you know, if you can get away from putting your own assumptions into that equation, again, right. that's how you allow those opportunities to come at you is to work on your own level of openness and clarity about what your professional joy entails. So when you do your work, I'm assuming you do some online stuff, but you also do uh, like live in person type of work? Yes, most of my clientele are, you know, locally located. I do, I, I really think there's a lot of energy in um, in person yep. meetings. However, um, I just had an online appointment with somebody last week and it worked out really well. Um, so, and so that is a part of my practice. I do prefer to meet in person when it's feasible, but, um, you know, I can, if, if somebody feels like the message that I'm giving them aligns with what they want and need, then I want to make it as easy as possible to say yes to that. Okay. Well, I like to keep these kind of condensed and short so people sure. don't, uh, you know, use their whole day and stuff. So right. Because like, hey, I could yeah. like, right, we can talk about this all day long, right? Exactly. There's a lot to cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can do more of these as we go down the road, but uh, I would like to sign this one off. But before I do, Sounds how can great. we get a hold of you if we want to, if someone wants to connect? Yeah. So my brand is VLA50, which stands for Vibrant Living After 50. Um, and you can find me at Leah, L-E-A-H, at V V L. A <laughs> five zero VLA five zero dot org, and um, you'll find all my um, reach outs and contact places there. Um, it's really easy to to ping me from that place. You can also find me in the same place, um, same name VLA five zero on Facebook as well. Good old Mark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Kaylee, if you want to stick on, uh, we'll we'll talk, have another conversation. But uh, other than that, I'm going to sign this one off and put it in the okay. can and beam it up to the universe. So I thank you for taking time. Thank yeah, you. Peace. Absolutely. Peace out. <laughs>